A post trending on social media is getting quite the reaction today. It's a meme shared by the Afrocentric Films Collaborative. It says, don't keep up with the Joneses. I saw them at Walmart and their card got declined. While the funny post generated a lot of shares and comments, it also got us thinking about how influences can cause us to sometimes try to keep up with appearances, even if it's to our detriment. So here to set some light on this uh, conversation is psychology expert Blanca Cobb. Uh, Blanca, why do people feel the need to keep up with everyone else? In the traditional sense, money means success. So the more that you have, the more you perceive that people are going to look up to you. Like it's a symbol that you're doing well, but all these and the social media posts, you know, it makes it appear like you're on top of the world. But here's the deal, though. That's a short lasting boost to your self-esteem. What would you say is a drawback to keeping up with the Joneses? That bar never stops going up. Why? Because somebody else is going to do more, make more, achieve more and have more. And then you keep putting all this pressure on yourself. And it's like this rat race that you just can't get off that hamster wheel, as the saying goes, right? Because you keep trying to keep up. You still have these pretense of how you're doing. Instead, you have to own your own definition of success. What is it that's going to make you happy? You know, and keep this in mind, too. There's some people who really don't care how much money you have or what your status is. They want to know you as a person. That's more defining than money. That's a really good point. So what should you do instead? Focus on relationship success. Think about the people who are in your life, people who care about you and the people you care about. Why? Because what's that saying? Here today, gone tomorrow. That's what can happen with anything that you own or the job that you have. But you can have staying power in relationships. People who love you, care about you, and are going to support you no matter what life throws at you. That, in my opinion, is a much better way to gauge your success. Mm -hmm. It's a lot cheaper, too, yes, right? Yes, that's what I was thinking, too. <laughs> like, times are tough right now. I don't have the money to keep up with everybody else. Absolutely. But that's where people get into credit card debt, right? Mm -hmm. Like this little stack of cash I was holding earlier. There's a big bill, but I'm not showing you all the little tiny bills in front of it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what happens. People will show the biggest, the best that they have, but they're really hiding what they don't want people to see. It's just, it's just it's, it doesn't make you feel good or look good. Always some good advice. Is there a topic that you don't cover, Blanca? Uh, um, no, <laughs> actually not. Perfect. All right. Well, <laughs> uh, until next time, thank you again for your great advice. I appreciate it. You can continue the conversation with Blanca on her Facebook page. Just search Blanca Cobb Body Language Expert.